Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. Your boy Reese right here with the mega mogul music family hood. And of course, he's killing it on Hulu, but we got to talk about it alone first. Dave East in the building. What's popping, homie? Yo, yo, what's the vibes, my boy? You know what I'm saying? You got songs with every artist I would ever want to do music with. <laughs> I mean, Beanie Siegel, that's the first actual first song I heard you on was the song with Beanie. With Sieg? That's yeah, right. with Sieg. And uh, Chris Brown, Rose, Tip, Jeezy, Tory Lanez, French, Styles P, The Locks. Yeah. The Locks can't even me. get a song with the Locks. He's got a song got a with the Locks. Album. I know. Yeah. I know y'all got those that's with my, the Ghost. That's my guy. That's crazy. Narrow. We we got to talk about it because I need to know how that came about. Yeah. Offset, Snoop, and Nip, bro. And I seen I seen the tribute uh, outfit last night. It was dope. Oh, at the awards. With Nip, yeah. with the awards. Shouts to that. Um, Groovy Lou and um, DD Designs from Harlem. Right. And I know y'all was yeah. cool in real life. I don't want to get it, you know dig into it because I know everybody gonna ask you that about yeah. that relationship. But I just want to keep it G. But just looking at that body of work, bro, do you ever look back and be like, damn, this is my life? I, you know what I do? I look back and be like, damn, I covered a lot of ground mm. in, a, in a short period of time. You working, dog. Because um, it still feel like just yesterday I was in the hood. Like, that still ain't like a real far. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even with all of the, the, the moves I done made, it's still, I, it still feel like right there. So um, I think that keep me humble. You know what I mean? Where I feel like, you know, I just was in a certain situation. Now life is a lot better. Yeah. But I, um, I just go, bro. Like, I feel like any time wasted... You know what I mean? It's, you can't get it back. And and I always feel like if I'm not working, somebody else working. Right. You know what I mean? So I, I, I get that from ball. Like, yeah, that's like, what I was going to say. I, I, mean? love, I love that, that how your story is. Because I'll yeah. be not to compare myself to you, but I came up the same way. Came right. up through hooping in college and mm -hmm. had terrible experience with coaches. Right. Ended up falling into the music life, and now I'm oh, on the radio. Know. Now, you my know God, what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we almost twins. <laughs> you you know like my God. 40 inches taller than me, but we kind of <laughs> twins. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Dave East right now, we kicking it. We just talking about a little bit of backstory, man, and talking about your bodies of work. I, I look at you kind of like a Pac. When I say that, it's because – you put a lot of groundwork in. Like, you've done a lot of recording. You just yeah. talked about it. And now right. you dipping and dabbing into the movies. Bro, you... Pac, my biggest inspiration as far as um, acting. Mm. You know what I mean? like, Because I, I, he was the only person, really, not to take nothing from nobody else that did the rap and the acting, but mm -hmm. I feel like he really... He bodied the role. Embodied them roles to where you would forget his music for a minute. I was still you know mad. I'm still mad at him from Juice. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know like, what I mean? he... Like, he killed these roles. He turned he, into them people. So. Yeah. And I know as a Hooper, you had to like fall in love with the movie that he was in, uh, Above the Rim. Oh, yeah. That's one of my top five. Top, top ten. I ain't going to say top five. <laughs> top, top ten, ten movies, though. You know what I mean? Uh, what his name? Birdie. Birdie, yeah. He had the, 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 the uh, see, it did, you know what I'm saying? Pac had the, the raise on, the, on his tongue. Cut. Meth had the raise on his tongue. Now yeah. you playing Method Man. Come on, bro. Full circle. <laughs> <laughs> How was that, bro, being on set with this uh, Hulu situation? I've been watching it. I'm on, like, episode six right Roger? now. Yeah, 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 bro. Fire. You killing the role. Fire, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fire. You, like, suddenly be chumping everybody off, too. <laughs> I feel like that's just you in regular life. <laughs> I ain't gonna front. Me and Meth Man are similar. Like, just in... Uh, I vibe, you know what I mean? So getting the once I got the role, I I, I had to audition for it, got mm -hmm. the role. Um, and then the first person I got with was Meth. Word, you know okay. I mean? And that's and before that we had kind of um because we had a song we did together. I we, told you we, he's worked with everybody. He just slides that I got a song with Method Man. <laughs> you know, so he just like, go it's, ahead, bro. <laughs> with, with, with Meth and um Max B on the hook. And we did that maybe like a year, two years ago. I had a haircut. I didn't even have my hair yet. But um we didn't link up for the record. It was an email type joint. Yeah. I did my verse. He did his verse. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then um, once I got the role, I, I reached out. I got, he said, come to Staten Island. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sat with him. And he, he was meth. That's you know real. I mean? But how, how does that feel like somebody you come come up listening? Because people of our age right. all like grew up with meth and red and all of them. Bro. Icons, man. They icons. Come so on, the, bro. Like I said, the, um, even, even get the opportunity to do that was like, Damn, be like, mm. I gotta kill this because he was too ill. Like he right. was too. He, he brought too much to the culture for me to um dilute it in yeah. any way. You know what I mean? With with some, with a with a docu series or something like that. Like so, I just wanted to really fully embody as much as I could. I'm not method man, but right. as much as I could, I did as much homework I could on him. I don't see Dave East when I'm watching it though. Right, it's that's, a it's a great dope. thing. That I'm gives a compliment. I don't see Dave East like because I'm like. 
ah, right, he tall, he, you know, they got a similar voice. And I was watching, I'm like, oh, he's killing that's it. Dope. He's killing Lord. it. I, that's real record. I just want to congratulate you on that, man. Whoever crazy, did that man. casting is crazy. I appreciate it. Bro. I had a few dudes. I had Jonelle up here, a few dudes come mm-hmm. up here. We all talked. And then, Jesse, man, they, was, they, boy, said, man. they were saying you was killing that role, though, bro. Right. Like, yeah. for real. Nah, I, I really, you know what it was? I took it serious, bro. Like, mm-hmm. that was one of them things, like I said, I I, I didn't realize how iconic the show was going to be till it came out. But yeah. Just me knowing, like, I'm playing meth, bro. Like, I yeah. got to. You got to. Fully embody that, you know what I mean? Right. But how did you stay focused on the music? Because I know sometimes it's hard to, like, you, you on set all day. Right. I ain't no actor, but I've been on some sets, and I, I know I got to be there at 545 right. in the morning. You don't right. get off till, like, 8, 9. Right. That's, like, peak studio hours. Was you right. able to start still getting the stew? Yeah, I actually just recorded my whole album during the time of doing the Wu-Tang. Like, I'm, I'm a robot, bro. Like, I would get up. Like, I ain't going to say even get up. I would leave the studio. 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m., mm-hmm. drive from Manhattan to Staten Island, do my, have to be there at 5.45, 6 a.m., have to do my makeup. Yeah. They had to cover all my tattoos. Right, right, right. Um, That be done about 7.30, 8. I go play the trailer. They might not call me on the set till 3 p.m. Mm. Feel me? So yeah. I'm sitting there. You just sitting there. I done the read trailer, over yeah. the script. I done went to sleep. I done woke up, <laughs> read over the script, eating, whatever. Smoking, you know what I'm saying? Just getting in my own vibe. Music play. I'm playing all Method Man. Like, that's all I'm not I, <laughs> I got you. Every day in the trail, I got all. At least it's good music. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> right, whole right. Method, whole Method, all this. I mean, the whole album just rock. But um, then we would get on set at three. You know what I mean? We might shoot till about six, lunch. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Come back from that. Seven, go. seven thirty. Now we might shoot till about 11. Mm-hmm. Now, when I rap, they like shotgun, rap. Yeah. Okay. Rap. And just for people that don't know, to Cali style, your Johnny Blaze, Method Man, Shotgun was his first like MC moniker right. that for for people kind of knew it was, him it was around Shaquan. the city. Shaquan, yeah, yeah and then, you know they was on on their guard. Body. Yeah, they got by yeah. And, um, you know they they just flipped it. Yeah, right. Shotgun, yeah. So that's what kind of people kind of knew him as right. when he was first dropping them right. songs or whatever. So yeah, so, I yeah. would I would rap 11 p.m. drive mm-hmm. from Staten Island to the crib, shower, try to get a little hour or whatever. If my daughter was still up, yeah. I would be praying she up on the way home. Please right. Still, please still be up. She's three, right? She's three. She's up. She's three. I got a two and a half year old. Watching TV. She's up. Midnight. I'm like, right. what are you doing? But I'm glad she up. <laughs> she with her till she pass out. You know what I'm saying? Throw my throw on my clothes, switch my fit, whatever. Go to the mm-hmm. studio. Studio one. I leave. I be in the studio from maybe one a.m. Right. To four. We, and I did that for six months. Right. And yeah. killed it, bro. Yeah. And 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 these the songs that's dropping, I could tell. Like I was a little worried too, right. watching how good you were doing as the role. Was like, right. is he gonna be Dave East yeah, when he come back to the music? <laughs> <laughs> He's Dave East, people. He's still Dave on the, on the music. I love it, man. We kicking it right now with East, man. Um, it's two things I want to kind of like say. Just this for me that uh, first of man, I appreciate what you're doing. Just being real vocal and out there about how you are as a father, because we need that. You know what I mean? I, I try to do the same thing. Uh, I know when my pops was around, so guys in my neighborhood, like they was like, they're so dope. They just be in my house all day. So now that we got social media, man, I, I know you kind of see people like. Yeah. Digging that, right? I get a, I, I, honestly, I feel like um, that's how it's supposed to be. It right? is. It, it is. But, it is. You know, social media, I guess, and just the um, the outlook, I guess, on black men. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like um, it's you like need a, a different stigma. narrative. Yeah, it's a stigma that's like, oh yeah, they they they're not around. Yeah, my pops was around. Yeah, like all my life, he's still around. That's my right. guy. I, like, I seen one of your documentaries yeah. where where your daughter got the little truck and you yeah. was at day crib and all yeah. that. I my seen that. Right there. Yeah, yeah, he was right there. My daughter made me buy her a little Jeep. It, it wasn't a range. <laughs> it was like the Wonder Woman Jeep. It was the radio budget version, you know what I'm saying? But we did the same thing. We ride clean, you know? A little truck. <laughs> a little they, truck. They tens, but I keep them clean. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, that's real dope. I wanted to just say that to you, nah, bro. It, bro. And as another person, I took my shot of myself. So, like, okay. being vocal about that, I know it's different in this industry. The only people I kind of knew that was like that was free. Free. Beans. Yeah. Um, it wasn't too many people. Right. You know what I mean? Even like people like you know, but they don't really make it vocal. Like right. Khaled doesn't. Right. Whatever his own personal reason, right. I ain't getting into it. But it's like you are uh Rollo, uh free Rollo, but he yeah. he is, you know right. what I'm saying? And Kevin I am Gates and Kevin came, Gates, Kevin Gates, Gates very came to Juma with me in Harlem. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, you know, That's or, definitely like, what's he, up. I feel like, you know, rappers come in your city and there's a million and one things we could do. He was like, let's go pray. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that was dope. 
Yeah, that's how me and him connected too. Right. Me and him and uh, with Mozzie Russ Russ R I H Mozzie. But yeah, that's how we all connected. But that's dope, bro. That's dope. I just wanted to say I appreciate that because they even told me like, don't be too vocal about it because you in the south. I'm like, this is who I am. So right. I gotta be who I am. So I don't I don't stray away from it. I don't I don't hide it. None of that. Like, right, you know. right. We kicking it with East right now, man. We talked about alone. He's gonna have a lot of people on child support. Uh, <laughs> when everybody catch up to this that's, song, that's the baby maker. It is, bro. <laughs> Did you know that? You knew that, right? As soon as you heard the sample, it's the baby maker. <laughs> he one of them. For real, for real. We talked about a few other things. I ain't gonna hold you, bro, because I know you got a million and one things to do. But I appreciate the time, man. It's I like one time, of bro. one of the good interviews, and uh, yeah. I know you said you mean it. One time for my guy Ron, I made a call that he hit me at like one in the morning. <laughs> that Whoa. was my dude. So uh, that's what it is, man. Keep doing your thing, bro. I- I'm ready to finish up this first season. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm ready. And I'm ready for this music. Wait, bro, I-, I seen a release date. We got to wait. November 8th, man. Survival. It's- it's- that's my pop's birthday. That's crazy. Word. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's. Because Survival perfect. Pack came out like August. Yeah. It's too long. It too that's long. T- it's too long you know, away. You know, you know what's crazy, though? Like, I'm used to just bombing, putting music right. out, music tape, 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 tape. This been the first time, and it really wasn't like my decision, mm. but I like how it kind of played out. Gotcha. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm more like from my true fans. I feel like a few people might be like, oh, I'm whatever, like he acting now, whatever. <laughs> but I feel like my real true fans, like my diehards, like yeah. they ain't never had to anticipate nothing like this before. Right. You know what I mean? Like and me. I, and I feel like the body, the body of work going really. You know what I mean? I just feel like I, I got a lot out. You can sit back, watch the Wu Tang, yeah. knock the album. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just wanted to, you know, start to um cover more ground. So basically, he's gonna take over your whole house and any <laughs> media platform you got. You know, you turn on Instagram, he's there. We you did, know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's, anything, we man. Did, heavy man. on my title. We got Dave East, man. And just my last thing, man. How is it? Is it hard for a person that's like, because you seem like you stay out of the way, right? right. But this is like a clout chase type industry. Is right. it hard for you? Because I had the same combo with Cas Casanova, and it was mm-hmm. like. It seemed like it might be a little harder for people that might be a real life person in real right. life to deal yeah. with some of the industry things that come on. Um, it's all weird to me. Like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, um, there's no privacy. Mm. It's it's uh, you don't know what somebody doing what they doing for. Like you know what I mean. So with you. me, I don't come from this. Like you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Like this is my life now. This is what I work to get to. Yeah. But because real gangsters moving south, I come from like nothing. You know what I mean. Yeah. Like we really come from places and, and situations where. Like, we only had that one way out, and it was to to do something like this. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's so either ball or or, yeah, or like, music. And once or, that ain't work, it was yeah. you know. Yeah, you in the, yeah doing what you do. You gotta you gotta right. do something that that my whole thing was I gotta do something that I could wake up and love every day. I yeah. didn't, I didn't love trapping. Mm-hmm. I didn't love. Do, I didn't like. I never loved nothing. It was just in a cheat street. code. I, I heard Jay it. say at one time he was like, it was just a cheat code because we ain't have too much. We yeah, had to do certain things. But I wasn't. Ex- I was excited to get money, stuff right. like that. But I never was excited to like be into that and be telling myself, yeah, I could do this forever. You right. know what I mean? So once I got into the music, once I got into the um, just the this in, this entertainment lane, you realize a lot of people don't come from what you come from. At yeah, all, you know what I mean? Yeah. But they might paint that picture like they do. Right. And you, you really a, be thinking it. You get around them and so, be like, nah. Nah, man, dude, that's, kinda weird. Yeah, that's not yeah. it. So, you know, I just try to, you know, pick and choose who I'm cool with. Gotcha. Um, if the love is genuine, I try to reciprocate it and stay out the way. That's you know what I mean? Word. Like I gotta get back to Kyrie. So Right, I got I you. Stay out the mix. I got you, man. Well, peace and blessings, brother. I appreciate you coming by and shopping it up Word. with me, man. Number success to you, Thank bro. You, man. I appreciate that. Word. It is, man. It's hot one oh seven now. We out.